on everybody it's the bull show aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video ladies and gentlemen we've got a chicago bulls related video referring to some of the news and updates around the chicago bulls after the atlanta hawks game and moving forward into that milwaukee bucks game things have been negative at the moment three game losing streak and we have to find a way to build ourselves out of this losing streak for the chicago bulls but there are some positive things that have been said about this milwaukee bucks game and we're going to be talking a little bit about everything that's been happening in this video but before we get started please like and subscribe to the bull show turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the chicago bulls and the game coming up against the milwaukee bucks it's a big one ladies and gentlemen no place to hide anymore it's the game that most of us have been looking forward to and let's see if the bulls can find a way to walk out of the united center beating a rival in the milwaukee bucks before I get any further into that, there is an accolade that a Chicago Bulls player has achieved throughout the course of the couple of days, and I want to celebrate that moment with him. Ladies and gentlemen, DeMar DeRozan has won the Player of the Month for the month of February. Now, his month of February has been absolutely historic, and I did say in a video not too long ago that if... DeMar DeRozan doesn't win the player of the month for February, then I honestly do not know what else would happen. So congratulations to DeMar DeRozan. It's a well 100% deserved award, and I couldn't think of a better guy to give it to. But now he has a really tough month of March, and hopefully we can see DeMar DeRozan flourish in this month again. Now, moving into, I guess, some of the things heading into Milwaukee, ladies and gentlemen. First things first, we saw against the Atlanta Hawks that the Chicago Bulls decided to play uh, Tristan Thompson and Nikola Vucevic a couple of times in the game against Atlanta Hawks and it looks like this is something that could be used for the foreseeable future now I'm not saying that we're going to be starting the game with Tristan Thompson and Vucevic in the lineup but it's good to see that we've finally chosen to do an experiment around playing two bigger guys in the team now, I think it worked in some instances and didn't work in others, but it's the beginning phase. It's an experiment. And the whole point of an experiment is to keep on trying to experiment with that dot lineup and see what you could get out of it. What's the best that can happen out of that situation? And I feel like there are going to be a couple of teams coming up where using the bigger bodies like Tristan Thompson and Nikola Vucevic together will be very helpful for the Chicago Bulls. And again, I think that goes to what Billy Donovan has been saying for a couple of times now. Billy Donovan saying that... We felt that we needed a more physical presence in the team. Absolutely, we do. And it's been like that for a long time. But it brings diversity. As I, I said at the beginning of the season, when we first started playing in these NBA games, our diversity in scoring was always the key into how we were going to win a lot of our games. But diversity in our lineups as well is crucial for the Chicago Bulls. So when I say we need a bigger body in Tristan Thompson, that might not be every lineup that we need Tristan Thompson to start or to play Tristan Thompson alongside Nikola Vucic. Sometimes it helps, most times it will probably help, but having that way of changing the lineup depending on what we need at a certain given time is an essential part of a winning team in my opinion, and I think a lot of teams do it better than the Chicago Bulls. So it's good to see that we've started to use different lineups, different rotations, different bodies, different positions. Very, very important. And the idea of having a physical presence within the team when we need it is absolutely crucial in my opinion. So I hope this is something we can see going forward. I feel like, again, against the Milwaukee Bucks, that is definitely something that we could use against a team like that. They're a physical presence. They like to rebound. They do play very strong defense as well. And sometimes playing physical with a team that's physical could end up being the right result for us. And matching their physicality is a, is a crucial part of how we're going to beat the Milwaukee Bucks if we can. Can. So, all the right things said here. But something else that was said that really got my attention, Tristan Thompson had a lot to say based on, I guess, the um, the Grayson Allen foul that was a, happened a few weeks ago, I would say, by now, six to eight weeks, probably, considering Caruso's returning soon. But um, when asked about that matchup with the Milwaukee Bucks, when asked about what Grayson Allen did, basically, in quotations, I'm not going to say any of the swear words, which is basically how we started off of it. He said, take one of my dogs out like that. We're going to have an issue. You've got to set the tone. That's what Bulls basketball is about, setting the tone. What he did affected one of our guys, and I don't think anyone should forget about that. So I'm pretty sure the United Center will be rocking. I'm pretty sure it will be too. I think guys have it in the back of their head. And if guys want to play chippy, then let's play chippy i like it i like a little blood and sweat so i enjoy it i think this is the first time i've heard something like that 
from a Chicago Bulls player in a long, long time. Someone that enjoys the physicality, enjoys and embraces when teams want to play physical, when teams want to play hard, and we want to match that. That's probably the first time I've seen someone answer like that for the Chicago Bulls all, se it's all season, but probably for a long, long time now. So... It feels good to see a player have that sort of attitude, have that sort of mentality. I'm not going to try and condone a, um, anyone physically trying to hurt Milwaukee Bucks players. That's definitely not what I'm saying. But if they're going to come with physicality, we have to match it. We have to play chippy if they're going to play chippy. This is what playoff basketball is going to be at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going to be playing free-flowing, for, uh, transition basketball where everything's easy, everything's nice, everything's beautiful, and it's a joy to watch. Playoff basketball is gritty, it's hard, it's physical, and most most importantly, as said in this quote, it's chippy. And Tristan Thompson should know that better than anybody. So... I do like the idea of having a guy that finally likes that physical toughness, someone that's going to defend his teammates, stuff of that nature. I do enjoy that, but I'll never condone physically hurting other players or physically injuring other players. So I hope it doesn't get to that point. But of course, when it comes to matching physicality with physicality, hearing someone say that that's what they like to do, they like to set the tone, they like to play chippy, I'm perfectly fine with the Bulls playing chippy against the Milwaukee Bucks and against any other team that we decide to face in the future where we feel that is necessary. So let's see what the Chicago Bulls can do. It's a positive sign to see Tristan Thompson say things like this. It's a positive sign that players seem to have things in the back of their minds about this game because it brings that extra energy and the extra motivation to beat the Milwaukee Bucks on the night. But it's easier said than done. As I've said countless times, the elite of the elite, the Bulls have failed to beat. This is the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee Bucks, to be fair, has been the closest that we've come to beating uh, a team within that top four of the Eastern Conference, maybe outside of Brooklyn, because I still cl classify them as an elite team. But yeah, that's it's going to be a tough game. But these are the games the Bulls have to win to prove to the rest of the league that they can be the elite of the elite and they can beat the best teams. To be the best, you've got to beat the best. Things like of that nature. Milwaukee are the reigning uh, defending champions in the NBA. So beating them is a great sign and it's a sign that we can continue this season knowing that we are the best, we are one of the best, and we can beat the best as well. So let's just see what the Chicago Bulls can do. But all positive signs heading into this game against Milwaukee. Milwaukee and let's hope the Bulls have that energy and can walk away with a very strong win. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. This win's not just for the Chicago Bulls, it's for Alex Caruso as well. I think there's nothing more the Bulls would love to do than to win this game for Alex Caruso, knowing that he's going to come back soon and he'll have the chance himself as well to verse the Milwaukee Bucks in my opinion. But nevertheless, this is definitely a type of game where the Bulls would want to win in representation of Alex Caruso. So let's just see what we do. With that being said, have a wonderful wonderful and safe day. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.